square. Welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 2551 that says put marbles in bags. So here we are given k bags and one zero index integer weight where weight of i represent the weight of the ith marble and now you need to divide the marbles and put them into k bags and you need to follow these rules. So no bag should be empty. The next thing is the if the ith marble and the jth marble are in the bag then all the uh, marbles with the index between i and j should be in the same bag uh, that means let's say if you put this um, zeroth index marble in bag one and you put this second index a marble in bag one then the between uh, marbles let's say that is marble present at index one should be also in present in the same bag got it and the third thing the bag consists of all the marbles from i to j then the cost of the bag is weight of i plus weight of j okay so let's say if i is 1 and uh, j is 5 here uh, j is this index then the cost of this bag is weight of i plus weight of j that is 5 plus 1 that is 6 okay so this is how uh, we calculate the cost we distribute the marble in a bag and in such a way that no bag must be empty and the score of the bag is the cost of all k bags so the, this is the cost of one bag 5 plus 1 and the remaining bag will contain only one uh, marble so it cost is 1 so the cost of uh, so the score is cost of all the bags and we need to find the difference between maximum and minimum score among k dis marble distribution so after trying to distribute these marbles into k bags so we need to find two combination that will result into maximum score and one that will result into minimum score and that difference we need to return here so yeah, one possible distribution of this weight, weighted area or, or if of this marbles are, let's say you take uh, marble one in the first bag and all the rest three marbles in the second bag. So the cost here is one plus one, this i and j, and here is i is this and j is this. So this this is how we calculated calculated the score by as summing up all the cost of k bags. This is second type of distribution where one three are in the bag one and five one in the bag two. So this is this cost here. And the score is 10 now the difference of 10 and 6 is 4 yeah right so uh, now uh, if uh, this is the given weighted array and k is 2 so whenever the weighted array dot size equal equals to k that means uh, there is only one possible combination so the maximum possible answer would be also uh, the same that, that this would be the same as minimum possible answer because the number of ways to distribute this is only one possible way right so whenever k equal to 2 uh, k equal to weight of uh, size of this weight array or the total number of marbles also uh, note one thing that whenever k is 1 then we cannot distribute it because there is only one bag so there is no ways to distribute or there is no possible way to distribute so in that case also we would return 0 as our answer got it yeah and now talking about the constraints the total number of marbles possible are 10 is to 5 and each marble can weight anywhere between 1 and 10 to 9 so see if you uh, see the uh, constraint r 10 to 5 that is large enough that here you won't be able to do a dipping that's a uh, biggest hint that you get can get from the constraint you can uh, you can't uh, write a code for n squared approach yeah so what else you can do uh, if not uh, uh, deep then is it a uh, binary search for an login solution but if you think of a, of a binary search then think how would you apply binary search here is it possible to apply binary search uh, because these marbles are not sorted and if you try to sort it and and then try to make distribution it won't be possible uh, you won't get correct answer because sorting this is not the approach we need to uh, select i and j and all the all the intermediate marbles between i and j in the same way so sorting is not an option here okay then what else you can do think of it right so let us take one example here so if these are all the marbles with uh, this is these are the weight of this how I many six marbles and we have k equal to three see uh, one thing to note here is first thing that whatever may be the k you always have to include the first marble and the last marble in the bag right you can't exclude them this these two marbles in means they must be included in the score as well uh, because if what however you said if you start from one comma one or four comma four they will be surely included in the score of all of both like minimum score and also the for the maximum score they both will be always included and so if you um, 
so if you sub subtract this or neglect this then uh, it won't uh, affect because as we are taking the difference here and if let's say some x has some constant value 4 and some let's say b has some constant value 4 so if you take this difference this is only a minus b so if you neglect this like the first and the last then um, it won't affect right i hope you got this this and this are always included and so if you don't consider them then it's okay as we are taking the difference now the second thing here is let's say uh, so this one point is clear now the second point is uh, if uh, we here here we have one three five one three four so let's say if you are starting i here i1 for the back one and let's say you are stopping here so whenever you stop you start again from the next index so i2 will be here and let's say j2 is here so then i3 will be start from again next index so see for uh, so where the thing to note here is whenever you stop for a back uh, uh, for a back one the back to back uh, the marbles for back to starts itself from the next index right uh, if you stop for back two then the number of marbles that can be included into your back three can be start will be start from the next index right so here there is a combination like this got it so if you find all this combination like see what type of combination are possible let's say uh, here one three five one three four so if i1 and j1 both are here or let's say i1 is here j1 is here or let's say i2 starts from here so there are different possible combination like combination like one comma three this is one where one back ends and the second back starts or let's say three comma five adjacent combination i'm talking uh, so five comma one three comma four so whenever one back ends the another back uh, marble starts so this is how uh, the adjacent uh, uh, elements contribute to the cost right so this thing has a very much importance in uh, the forming the intuition that whenever uh, one uh, marbles if you end here then the next marble will be again added in the next bank and our score is uh, our cost is what weight of i plus weight of j for bag one let's say this is for bag one plus uh, and for uh, for bag two what it be j plus one and some let's say k this is for bag two right and again for bag three what would be weight would be k plus one and w the uh, l let's say l for this would be of back three so as you can see here there is j j plus one right k k plus one so this adjacent element and as you know the star first and the last element are fixed right uh, as we discussed here the first element will be always included and the last element would be always included so here we need to find the combination of adjacent element that uh, whose sum is maximum adjacent element sum like k k such max uh, adjacent pairs whose uh, sum is maximum and k pairs of adjacent element uh, whose sum is minimum so here these are the pairs right and we need to, we need to select k pairs whose sum is maximum and k pairs whose sum is minimum and adding the cost of this those pairs we will give we will get our answer right so i hope you guys understood the this point and also this point uh, by by this example so uh, yeah our approach would be the simple we would run a group from i equal to 0 to i is yeah, i is less than equal to n minus 2 see why n minus 1 is the last element okay so we will run a loop to n minus 2 so that we can form this split pairs right and the next uh, thing is we, uh, we would sort it we will uh, uh, store the adjacent element sum then we would sort it and we would select k uh, minimum sum and k maximum sum and we would take this difference okay i hope you guys understood the intuition as well as approach to solve this question so guys now let's us move to the coding part here okay so now let me first initialize n as the size of weights item weights dot size and now let me take one sorry uh, two vectors of long long uh, long long int let me name it as sum1 and sum2 now let me try to run a for loop from 0 to last element uh, last second element and what we do we would simply someone push back uh, weights 
of i plus weights of i plus 1 and the same thing we would do for sum 2 as well now what we would try to sort sum 1 dot begin and sum 1 dot end okay and we would uh, now sort sum 2 in reverse order so that it's easy for us to take k elements right now let me take long long int answer 1 and initialize it to 0 answer 2 and initialize it to 0 now let us try to run a for loop from 0 to k i plus plus answer 1 plus equal to sum 1 of i and answer 2 equal to sum 2 of i right this contains k minimum pairs this contains k maximum pairs means uh, this is how we would add into answer 1 and answer 2 and in the end we would return answer 2 minus answer 1 okay so this thing we would return now let me try to run this okay and one thing we forgot here is uh, it would be s yes. uh, and yeah if uh, k equals to 1 or k equals to weights dot size then we would return 0 yes now let me try to run this again okay the case cases are passed now let me try to submit this okay showing some wrong answer here okay now one thing to note here is instead of uh, traversing till k we will traverse only till k minus 1 and the reason is see uh, yeah, let me show you with this example so if you are uh, let's say traveling uh, you'll see the first element is fixed the last element is fixed now for k equal to 2 that means you need to divide into two bags you need to only select one element right that is either 3 or either 5 because uh, one bag will contain 1 2 5 and another will contain after 5 right so here also 1 2 3 and from 5 to 1 if you select 3 so here only we need to select one element uh, for for one bag for matlab means k minus one bag so let's say if you have here for this example if you have 3 this is fixed this is fixed now you only need to select uh, for two elements one for bag one and one for uh, one for ending of bag one and second for ending of bag two so let's say if you bag one and then bag two starts here b2 start and let's say b2 b2 uh, and here so here uh, we, these two are the same thing so b2 and here then b, b3 start so this we are storing this b1 and, and b2 start b2 and, and b3 start so for k equal to 3 we need to select only k minus 1 uh, combination right k minus 1 adjacent pair or combination okay so that's the reason we are selecting here k minus 1 so now let me add this to the test case and let me try to run this okay now let me try to submit this again so yeah our code got accepted now and now talking about the time and space complexity since we are using sort then the time complexity would be big of n log n and we are storing n elements so the space complexity would be big of n so yeah that's all from my side today i hope you guys understood the question the approach as well as uh, the code and i feel that after going through this explanation you won't uh, find this question hard and it's easy like once you try to think how this work like if you the main thing was here is if you take one element in the bag one then the adjacent element would be surely be kept uh, in the next bag so if you have thought that then you would be easily able to come up with the solution okay yeah that's all for this video and if you guys have any doubts still then let me know in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you